Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jason from Gigasheet, and we thought it'd be fun to show you a comparison between Gigasheet and Python when doing some very basic JSON analysis and data exploration. Now, Python is a fully-fledged programming language. It's very powerful to do all kinds of different data analysis that Gigasheet can't do, but we found it's often faster and easier to explore JSON datasets and do basic aggregations and general analysis of the data. So hope you enjoy it and check it out. Hey, my name is Garth Griffin. I'm the CTO at Gigasheet. But uh, for this exercise, I'm going to put on the hat I wore at my last job where I was a data scientist, which I did for many years. Uh, and I'm going to do a quick analysis. I've been handed this file uh, with GitHub data and uh, I want to try to figure out the top 10 most pushed to repositories. So that's our objective. And I'll use my, my usual tool set, which I, you know, I, I use Python mainly. And of course, and everybody has their own tools and, you know, you can criticize my, whatever, criticize my approach, but I'm going to use the tools I'm most familiar with, which was mostly just writing, just straight Python. So uh, let's start by looking at this file and so, okay, let's look at it differently and see how to find pushed repositories. All right, so I see here, push event. That's probably what I want. Are there several of those? Yes. All right, so we want to filter to the push events and then I wanna count up you can use, this looks like the right thing, this repo name. And then we'll uh, sort it by the count of those and then get the top 10. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, we can start by uh, count. And we need our file name. Uh, let's see. I don't actually want it as JSON, but I really, yeah. Well, let's let's get it like this. Uh, Should be a real thing. Let's try. Ah. Let's see. Eight. So now we have a list of these, and now I need to filter them. So let's filter to the type. Which event. Okay, actually, I want to yeah, could do this in Jupyter Notebook, I suppose. Oh, yeah, change that. All right, so the first one's create, but we, now we have our filtered list of push events. Let's just see how many we got. All right, whatever. So now we need to group by uh, the name of the repo. Look at the structure again because I don't remember. 
So we're looking at one of these. We need at repo at name. Okay. Oh, at name. Let me just make sure that I this. Make sure that I'm actually getting what I think I'm getting. Printing one. Okay, and now let's check whether we got something saying. Let's print out how many we got. All right, so there's fifty eight hundred. But there's only 5,800 uh, push events across 3,500 unique repos. So now I got to turn that into a list. Let's see if this work. Great. So, and we're going to sort it by value, and then we actually reverse it. I think this is going to be our answer. Uh, because of the map. Convert it like that. Oh, wow, wow. I'm stupid. There we go. All right, back to this. All right, all right. Here we go, top 10. So we got there, we're gonna make it pretty, but that's our answer. Here's our, there we go. Hey, I'm Jason. I'm a CEO and co-founder at Gigasheet. And uh, today we're going to look at this JSON file I was given of GitHub events. So I'm just going to upload the file from my local machine. It's like a 25 meg file. Um, I am not a software developer. I do consider myself to be pretty analytical and data curious, data-driven person, um, do a lot of data analysis. Uh, I have done a bunch of things in the past, but i um, generally familiar with what JSON is, but I couldn't write a script to parse this or do any sort of calculations on it. So hopefully we'll be able to use Gigasheet to do that today. Um, right now it's extracting the JSON and flattening it into a tabular format. So, okay. That didn't take too long. Looks like we have 954 columns and just over 11,000 rows. So let's take a look at this data. Okay, so pretty wide data set here. And I can see we have columns for uh, all these different uh, events that are occurring in GitHub. Let's see. We can find okay so here's the repo name um let me i'll just create a group with this to see how many the most frequently occurring is in this data set so just move this a little wider so definitely looks like this one has the most event types in it 
expand this and take a look at some of the data that's in there across these columns. A bunch of empty stuff and then lots of payloads. Let's see if I go back to here and see if there's something I can search for with, um, like that. What I'm looking for would be the type of event issue. Oh, here we go. Type. Uh, this payload thing is just how it extracts, I know, long lists of things. But here we go. Here's type. So, for example, maybe I'll group, um, do a subgrouping so I can see the different types under, under this. So there's push event, but uh, it looks like the push but there's also these other event types. So we want to filter that out because we want to find, the task is to find the repo with the most push events. So what I'll do is maybe just reset here, back to the initial data set, and I'll filter where that column was type here, uh, equals, Let's call it push event. Um, so if this works, yep, we have 5,815 of these. And if I group by that, just to make sure that I didn't, that I did it right, yep, we should only have one event type. We do. Um, so next, what I want to do is figure out how many which repo has the most of these events. So what I'll do is group by repo name. And by default, Gigasheet sorts by this uh, count here. So there you go. There's the top 10. You can even make a nice chart of it if we want. We'll just do a simple add a count column here. And then that looks like about 10. Do a column chart. There you go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's top eight. So I could expand it and make it the top 10. Um, that's it. That's how you would analyze JSON without any code.